There's some good. Oh man. I think I just hit the jackpot. these toys. All right, folks. Well, a couple things going on here. We're in a different area that um, I have personally never been through. This is actually city of Houston's trash. And boy, I mean, this is just like a lot of randomness in here. A lot of little stuff. Here's a splinter toy. I might just have to take some of these boxes of toys to go through them to see what they got inside of them because that's a little Ninja Turtle splinter toy. And uh, I mean, there could be other good stuff in here. So likely a lot, a lot of it's gonna be trash, but we shall see. Another thing is I got my new camera today, or actually yesterday, but I'm using it for the first time today. And um, I'm excited to see how it works. The Hot Wheels. Yeah. I was gonna <laughs> Curious to see how it's gonna work because um, one cool thing about it is that this one here has a feature where I can use the microphone to face back towards my voice. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me better. This table's gone. Hopefully you can hear me better as I'm talking, um, you know, to the mic because the mic's backwards and forwards facing. So we'll see. Y'all let me know in the comments. Pokemon cards. All right. We'll take these toys. We will take these toys. You never know. When it comes to some of these old vintage toys, all it takes is one to really make your day. So... nothing in here it's tickle me almost really dirty so I probably won't be getting him I don't touch that let's see I don't really see much anything of anything in there I know y'all see this big wooden chair but it doesn't look to be in good condition um, this is all cardboard boxes. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, I had to get the new camera, guys, because the other one. It just kept shutting off on me randomly. F randomly, the volume wouldn't work. Randomly, uh, it would it'd be videotaping and fast forward. It would just do the just craziest things with, you know, for me. So I want to say the other one was about two years old. So it was about time. It was a good, the GoPro 9. And uh, this one here is a 12. So it's three generations ahead. So we'll see hope you guys uh can tell the difference not only in i don't know maybe the video quality i don't i'm not sure but hopefully the sound we'll see y'all let me know in the comments as you guys are watching this video over here y'all throwing this away you throwing it away take it all right cool. little shelf folding chairs all right, I might get him. 
I'll take this one, it's kind of nice. That folding chair you said? And the punching bag is somebody, you know, somebody that wants it. Okay. You don't punch you don't punch it no more? He has this big one out. Oh, he's got the man the big man one. Yeah. Alright. That little thing man. <laughs> Free, I'll take it. Thank you. The black one I just haven't got to it yet. Okay. Alright. If I use your dolly? Yeah, go for it. Watch out, there's movie here. Move the place and take it. I'll load it up. Move that one back that way. Move that back that way. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm tripping. Put it in the box. Just find a box. You know what? Let me think about it. Because uh, I hate to take it and I don't have space. Um, you want me to put it on the side? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Maybe, some, maybe someone else will come by. Because... You're not sure? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. But... Well, there you got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here you go. All right, cool. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Bye. The Nemesis. I don't think coffee is life. Denny's. Hmm. Onkyo. It's damaged. Yamaha. I guess we could try these out, see if they work. There's a box here. make a run to um forgotten angels with these clothes kind of stink though that box stinks right there so i don't see anything else nah and yeah, we'll give that bag a try see if there's anything worth in there so Real quick drive around guys, there wasn't really a lot uh, out there. I'm curious to see what kind of toys we have in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically uh, just go through this really quick, uh, find what's worth keeping. Like a lot of this little stuff like this, I'm not gonna go try to find every piece of the puzzle. You know, this, these little things, you know what I mean? It's gonna be trash. Um, probably keep like little books like that for the garage sale. 
uh, got the box of crowns should be good for the garage sale and stuff like that will keep but for the most part I just want to see if there's like any good vintage toys any Hot Wheels stuff like that that are that's worth saving so let me go through this real quick and um, I'll show you what to find at the end here's a quick recap this is really I mean guys of all that stuff that was in there this is probably the best stuff that was in here I found a couple of like Super Mario Kart toys some Incredibles toys, a bunch of Hot Wheels, a uh, little stack of Pokemon cards, the crayons, just different little figures and stuff like that. Some sidewalk chalk. This is a cool little phone holder. You set it up, put your phone in there. Probably keep that for me just so I can annoy my ki annoy my kids with it. Um, you have this little Melissa and Doug Disney thing. You put Minnie Mouse, give her a shirt. Put her some pants, and there you go. So, that's that. Ah, uh, what else? Sidewalk chalk, or a little cap gun with a bunch of little, or little caps right here. That was kind of neat. Found this bag full of Play-Doh and stuff to make stuff out of it. Uh, checked the Play-Doh as I was going through it, and it's really all in good condition. It's still good, so. I'll put that at the garage sale, a couple bucks. And then last but not least, I couldn't find, I couldn't believe that this was in here. It says sterling silver and genuine opaque stone. So apparently this is sterling silver. I didn't see it marked on the inside, which is kind of concerning. Oh yeah, it is marked. Yep, it says 925. So we found a sterling silver ring right there uh, in the trash, guys. In a bag of toys of all places. It's crazy. So... I don't know, you can probably be looking for this on Iris's uh, Mercari page, which is linked below in the description. And uh, she'll probably put this on there. And uh, the rest of the stuff, go to the garage. So another cool thing was this uh, Pokemon uh, pin. That's the second one I found. So that was pretty neat. What else? Oh, yeah, the Super Mario Nintendo coin. This is cool. I'll probably end up keeping this because I like this kind of stuff. And then you got a Walmart gift card. So we'll call this thing up and see if it got anything on her. Your card is currently active. The balance remaining in your gift card is zero dollars. <laughs> zero dollars. <laughs> you know, I thought because the back had been, uh, hadn't been scratched off yet. I was kind of hoping that it still had a balance on it, but I guess not. So, recap what's going on over here. You had that little that little shelf, which I kind of regret getting because I have so much shelves right now. So, I'll probably put it on Facebook for like five bucks, get rid of it. A couple chairs. You found the uh, oh, this little chair here for like a, like a vanity. Of course, you had the Onkyo receiver. See if it works and then the Yamaha uh, it's a tuner okay so it could be a score and I didn't even go through here this is supposed to have been closed I'll go through it real quick well, looks like they put this in upside down Here's the first thing, Pink Republic. It's a nice little sweater there. Okay, that's not bad. Um, what else do we have over here? Got some, got some nice clothes. Salty Dog Saloon. Got this Forever 21. Like denim vest with spikes on it. That's kind of cool. Forever 21 is not very expensive, but so cool. This little jacket here, little shirt. Got to be some decent clothes, guys, to be honest with you. 
And what's in here? Man, it's good clothes. All good clothes. So, brand new. Bunch of pants. Another little vest thing. Let's see, check the pockets. Not seeing anything in here. But, nice little vest. And then just like some pants and stuff in here. No big deal. I should do it for this little batch here. Okay, so now that we're done with that little batch of stuff, but I'm about to go to the to the uh, ant to our antique booth and uh, get my last payout. I've got one more check due to me, and uh, that's gonna do it. But I saw something over here, and I just wanted to take a quick gander in it. No, it was nothing. See, I saw that stuff right there from the side of the road, and I was like, "Huh, what is that? Looks like someone did a bathroom remodel." Now stick around guys because I'm I, I think I'm gonna go drive around tonight again. I am gonna go to one house uh, that some lady texted me. Uh, she had she had offered me some stuff and uh, I'm gonna go see what she's got. But that'll be later on this evening. So hang tight and uh let's see where this day takes us. Alright guys, well I just came to this lady's house and uh picked up a bunch of stuff. As y'all can see, a lot of stuff going on right here. Boy, that's a lot of work. Man, now I ain't gonna lie. I think she got over on me a little bit because there's a lot of stuff that is really, you know, I can't use. But there's some stuff that can be used and it's kind of like an investment for the future because um, she's got a garage full of stuff. She said that's better stuff. And she said that her mother-in-law's house that uh, they passed away and they've got a garage and attic and stuff full of full of items also so hopefully they give me a call and uh we'll get some more good stuff so hopefully it's a good investment and some future picks but um i'm happy with what i got hopefully uh she seemed real happy for me to get rid of it so hopefully it pays off okay well Let's see, gonna get this nice little wooden shelf. What's over here? Boxes. Bunch of random stuff. Random stuff. Man, but random stuff can be good though. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. Does this not open? Well, we're gonna see what's in here. Uh, some plant stuff. Um, I really don't want this metal stand. I will take this little bin. These sell really, really fast. Plus, I could use it for storage. Man, like blankets and stuff. Blankets. I don't know. If I'm so full right now. 
It's got to be good. This is nothing. Nothing. Do I want to take this random stuff? I got to see one thing that looks good. Just not seen anything worth taking. Bunch of junk. Um, this one here. There was this purse. Let's see if it's any good though. Tanker. It's really not a good purse. Tanker outlets. Oh man. I'm not really liking anything here. No, I can't. I'll take these two bags. This will be about it, though. Oh, man. I just saw someone put this out, and this thing is super nice. I don't know if I could fit it. Can I fit this in my storage unit? Oh man. I'm about to make some room because that thing is super nice. All right. I'm gonna make some room, load this up, and uh, I'll come back here in a minute. Oh my gosh, light. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Little Star Trek poster. Put that in here. What do we got in here? Any Star Trek toys? No. Grass, grass. I said, just the poster. Oh. Bro. Jordan Alvarez. That's what I'm talking about. right there these starlight bins here are nice coat rack get donated oh man it's a bunch of cups and stuff but um I could definitely 
definitely donate all these coffee mugs and plates. Let's finish what we got over here. I think this is two different houses. Running out of room. Smells like paperwork. What's in here? This feels heavier. Oh my gosh. Autographed picture of that that guy right there. Okay. Hold. Won't take that. Some kind of certificate or something. Last one. Ah, nothing. All right. in here and call it wow this is good stuff I'm not worried about the checks, but these, uh, there's some good, oh man, I think I just hit jackpot. Oh my gosh, look at all these toys. This is all Power Ranger stuff. Oh boy. This is all vintage stuff here. Let's see if I can find a place for this. You're looking at Power Rangers, Crash Dummies, Star Wars. Oh man, I can't wait to go through this. This is a good score. I can't wait to go through that. It's good stuff right there.
gotta be careful with this one. Star Wars Beanie Babies. Take that too. I don't think there's anything else in here. No. Wow. Man, I can't wait to get those toys home. There's gonna be some good stuff in there. Saw these right away. Ooh. This one's nice. No cracks. Nope. That's a nice face. Uh, a little chip down here, but no big deal. Let's see. Man, I've got so much stuff today that I forgot I had this stuff in here. And this is nice green glass here. Let me move that front seat up a little bit. Get this to fit. Should be good. go I saw some stuff I saw this sticking out oh nothing thought it was something okay there's something in here She's broken up. That's sad. Well, Kind of cool though. I wonder if these are anybody famous. I'm gonna hold on to that one. In case it's someone of importance or fame. Dirty work clothes. Chador. I was used to wear that cologne a long time ago. not seeing anything in here all right guys what a crazy crazy busy night I've, i mean there's just so much stuff and i stopped at another house that um i didn't film because all they had was a bunch of bags of clothes and i knew there were bags of clothes just i mean i could just tell you know uh, i've been doing this for a long time they look like a bunch of bags of clothes and uh, it looked like there was a bunch of purses too so what y'all what, what y'all didn't see was this so this bag this bag this bag, this bag, that bag, that bag, that bag, that bag, 
and this bag right here. Um, and, <laughs> and these three bags. So all those bags are full of either clothes, shoes, or purses. Uh, all of the above. So that, I mean, it's just, not only the stuff that that lady gave us, which a lot of it's going to end up being gone, but man, we had a good night, guys. Good night. Uh, one of the things I'm most excited about, I'm telling you guys right now, is going gonna, is gonna to be this, uh, let me get this bag out the way. This box of toys right here. This box of toys right here is the one. This, this is the stuff that you just, oh my goodness. So here's Transformers, Power Rangers, Power Rangers, more Power Rangers. I mean, this thing is just jam packed full of stuff. And I mean, it's jam packed full, guys. Who knows what could be in there? I mean, there's something. This is something right here. Is this GoBots? This might be GoBot. My goodness, it's just so much. And it's, I mean, it was, it's, it's packed and they're really good. So that's exciting. The clothes, the boots, the shoes. I mean, there's just so much, guys. I just, oh. And then this other stuff in here. All right, so I can't wait to go through all this stuff with you. Uh, unfortunately, what I'm gonna have to do is make a bunch of room inside the storage unit and push everything back as far as I can uh, because I happen to look at the weather report and it's supposed to rain like starting in about two hours all night and all morning long. So I can't leave this in the back of the trailer and do the recap tomorrow. So I need to put everything, just just, just slam it inside the, in, into the, uh, uh, storage unit and come back on another day when it's not raining All right, so I don't know if y'all remember what the storage unit looked like from my last video, but We've created a lot of space here. So I think we're gonna be fine I definitely got stuff stacked up high now versus just kind of level and plain so um, I think we made really good progress. We got plenty of room now I'll be able to get a lot of stuff in here and fill it all the way to the end. So I'm going to start with this bad board right here. And guys, I'm not sure if you guys got a good look at this in the video originally, but man, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. Look at that. I couldn't leave this one behind. This is so nice. All right. Well, I got a long night ahead of me. Y'all wish me luck. Time to get busy. All right, here we are the next day, guys. We're going to go through as much as we can. Because uh, as you can see, you know, compared to what I showed you last night, I definitely packed everything up in here uh, as tightly as I could. Surprisingly, still have some room left. I was really surprised that I still had some room left. Um, not much, not much, but, um, you know, <clears throat> something we can work with. A lot of this stuff, like in here, guys, um, you know, this is mostly going to be junk. Uh, I don't, I just can't do nothing with this. Even with this, I know it's for cleaning a ceiling fan. But, you know, stuff like this, I might be able to put out the garage still. But, you know, a lot of this stuff is just garbage, unfortunately. Uh, there was a lot of that. Uh, there's this tub that's full of, um, these are scuba sinks or scuba weights. They're pretty heavy, man. Each one of those is, is, is pretty heavy. So I'm going to see what the market is on those and maybe try to sell those online. It does have the nylon belt, but the belt might, might, might not be any good. And of course, y'all remember this guy right here. This is a really pretty vase. I mean, this thing is heavy. It's, it's definitely a real nice uh, pottery here. Got that glazed finish to it very nice i'm gonna show that one to iris see if she decides she wants to keep that one then you had this really pretty green one right here decorative accent piece here you can see really nice 
Um, glad I was able to see that on the, when I was out driving around. I'll tell you what, guys, the last night was one of those nights where I felt like I was the only guy out there driving around. And one of these boxes that that lady had, there was these cute little clowns. I don't know if they're made out of pewter or what, but they're very heavy. And uh, they're cute little clowns. I really like them. One's holding, I guess, what, what might have been an umbrella. But a little piece came off on top, but really cute little guys here. Also had this Jordan Alvarez uh, bobblehead. I mean, this is a really good find. These sell here in Houston, <clears throat> especially this guy. You could probably get between, probably about 30 bucks for him. Brand new, sealed. They give these away at the games uh, to like the first 10,000 people that come in, but people sell them online. So that's a good find there. You have an autographed photo, uh, picture of this astronaut, uh, Kenneth D. Cockrell. And it says, to Jan, keep up the good work. The kids are lucky to have you. Ken Cockrell. So, astronaut Ken Cac Kenneth Cockrell. So, that's pretty cool. Um, we'll see how much that can get, being that it is personalized to a specific individual. But um, being that it is autographed, it, it could still get a little bit of money. You had these Tangler outlet bags. These, I guess they give these away at the, uh, at the, at the outlets here in town, but nothing special about those. Let's see. Let's see if I can move some stuff around in here. Um, I'll just put it here to the side. It is starting to sprinkle a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see, but. Starting to sprinkle just a little bit there. And that's what I was worried about. It, it rained all morning. All morning. But it's later in the afternoon. And it stopped for a couple hours. And now it's starting back up again. Uh, these are all those. These are all those Power Ranger. I think they're mostly Power Ranger. I haven't gone through them yet. But I do want to go through them. I'm mostly excited about this. What was that? Something fell down in there. So I'll put these up here and look at them here in a minute. Yeah. Looks like there's a lot of good stuff in there. All right, keep on going. What else do we have? That really cool Star Trek poster. This is actually a really nice one. The Final Frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Five-year mission, explore new worlds, seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no man has gone before star trek that's really cool i like this one i'm not a star trek fan but um I, I do appreciate you know i do appreciate the uh just the coolness really of, of it all you know so me that there the lady also gave me some garden tools as you can see back here rake uh shovel this uh pounder thing there was a i think this is a I'll, I'll use this as a moving blanket i will you know i won't uh i won't get rid of that one a bunch of these cups guys i'm probably just going to donate all these cups right here because i don't know I, I can't i can't sell those uh so to my surprise this is actually this chair let me get this guy off of here she gave me this chair and it's actually a lazy boy and she said it was real comfortable guys i sat in this thing yesterday my gosh this is a an extremely comfortable really really good chair and uh this is the replacement seat doesn't show what part i think it's the i think it's the bottom to this uh to this chair because uh it had gotten messed up around here around the edges but the husband ended up not wanting to get it because he ended up scraping it over here on the... I don't know if y'all can see that. You see that little mark right there? He ended up scraping it there, so he just threw it out. But this cushion does go to this chair. And I'll be honest with you guys. I think I'm going to end up trying to sell just the cushion by itself. Because they go... From, this is new, unopened, or I can even sell it as an open box. And some of them go between $100 to $200. I haven't looked at this specific model. 
uh, I didn't I didn't jot down the information whenever I was looking at uh, looking online but this chair right here there's I mean there's absolutely nothing wrong with this chair it is really extremely comfortable man I, I almost want to keep it but I don't even know where I'd put it um, we've got a nice computer chair at home and uh, man I, it's like I don't want to get rid of this because it's, it's just super comfortable all right moving right along you had all these starlight bins these might be keepers uh, i've got some that are in my my room upstairs where i kind of uh keep uh, uh some of my, my stuff that i'm listing online and these are actually better condition than what i've got and i like these that you can move them they're they're, they're stackable so it's they're they're independent of each other or you could just stack them like this. I would keep them stacked, but if I needed to move one or two, I could real easily. Probably going to keep those, very likely. And, guys, this is the stuff that that lady gave me. There was, you know, I haven't even gone through here. I don't know what this is. Maybe, oh, these are levelers for, like, a washing machine or something. But there's just random stuff like that in here, guys. Um, not stuff that I would have picked up on my own per se if i was out there picking but like i said i think it's going to lead to more opportunities like see look at that you know this is this is for sure trash i can't do nothing with that a funnel i could probably sell that at the garage sale this is just a box that's trash this is i don't know Close pins. Maybe take those to the garage. So you got these chucks. These chucks are okay. Um, battery float charger. In case like a trickle charger. That one that I could sell. I have one already, or else I would keep it. Um, flashlight. Just different pieces of angle iron. Some of this stuff I can sell at the garage, so some of it i absolutely cannot door edge molding so once i have more time uh you know and, and i'm off i'll go through this a little bit a little bit better old spray gun um these things get clogged up i don't know if it's any good this guy here it hasn't been open a spotlight and there's just other stuff these little igloo coolers hopefully they're not all no they're not in horrible shape you had some insecticide sprayers there you had that flood lamp there there was a couple bags of halloween stuff that i'm not going to be able to get to because they're just they're, they're too far back in there uh but i did want to show y'all some other stuff let me move this down See if I can get to it. Don't trap myself in here. <laughs> you see, there's more stuff down there. These here, these are kind of cool. These, I think she said they were for, so like storing medical, medical supplies. Let me not scratch this guy up. You open it this way, comes open yeah so this is for like a from for pharmacy maybe military grade it looks like it but the guy used it for storing you know screws nuts bolts stuff like that but this is kind of cool i'll have to look these up see uh what the value on them are this was a beautiful piece i'm not gonna be able to get a chance to show it to you uh in the light because i'm just i just don't have the energy guys to move everything out and then move everything back in unfortunately um there were a bunch of bags of clothes they're all back in there but i did want to show you some of the stuff that was in here there was there were some purses like this guy right here and you see i mean already looks like, looks like there's sounds like there's Or is that the chain? No, see, there's stuff in here. So you got 
some change in here. A bunch of nickels, dimes, quarters, whatever. I uh, don't know what brand this purse is. It is a cute little purse though. It's a small little one. I uh, didn't really see what brand this one was. Did I? Oh, Kato or Kato or whatever. However you pronounce that. Kato, Kato. Mm. Nothing in these pockets here. But... I mean, it's a good-looking purse, guys. You know, and it has a little coin bag on the side. This one here is really nice. This is a leather. It's uh, dyed like this turquoise blue. Virginia by Worcester and Hands Fashion. Really nice purse here. And you can just smell the new on this one. Can you smell it? It just smells great. I love the way leather smells. And this one smells like it's brand new. This has got to be, is this leather? I mean, this is called Miss 9. It feels really, really soft. But it could be fake leather. See, and there's stuff in here too. So you got, okay, this is brand new. I'm going to take this home. Some tissue paper. Okay, this is a strap that goes with this one. It's trash. So Miss 9. I've never heard of this brand, guys. I'm not sure. Y'all leave a comment. If, I don't know if that's a good brand or not. Look at these side pockets. But I'll tell you, whatever the material this is, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's leather. It's extremely, extremely, extremely soft. And I don't see any markings in here as far as if it says genuine leather or nothing. No, it says made in China. Then see what material it is. But either way, super, super, super nice bag. Really, really nice. And over here you got this little... I don't know. I don't think there's anything in here. I don't think there's nothing to this one. This is just a little pouch thing. And you got a backpack. I don't know what this strap goes to. Adidas. See, there's more change. Okay, so you got a gift card. Oh, Visa Debit. Dang, is that a gift card or debit card? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. It says Visa Debit. It might just be a debit card, but there's some change in here. Oh, look. So you got another... Wow, look. Another Pokemon pin. Um, I found that other one the other week, and here's another pin. So I'm going I'm to... I'm start collecting these I guess here's some more quarters and that's it for this bag let me put everything back in here real quick all right so now over here well, let me get this one first because it's easier to get to what's in here okay so in here there's more purses and um Got this little guy right here. Wild Fable. Doesn't seem like it's... Not, oh! There we go, guys. Oh. Well, I didn't win the lottery, but... Four bucks. That's not bad. That'll go towards the gas money right there, baby. So, here we go. I mean, four dollars can't complain what kind of bag was this <laughs> wild fable and then you got this one here it's in cat on the chance i don't know nothing in these pockets so this is a cute little like a crossover kind of bag Incant. I'll have to look these up make sure that they're not like some super expensive. Wow, my goodness, guys. Look at this. Kate Spade. Brand new with tags. 239 US dollar $200. Wow. And that's brand new. Brand new Kate Spade. 
Look at all the stuff is still in here. I don't even think I need to look in here just because. No, that's like the little sensor thing that they put at the stores. This thing's never been used. My goodness. Kate Spade, New York, brand new bag in the trash. All right, this one here is dirty. Forever 21. Cute little bag, nothing, nothing crazy going on here. Uh oh, there's stuff in here. I can tell. Oh, it might be trash. So it says locking, looking sharp. All right. And that's it. Women's voices, poetry, and letters. Oh, that's kind of nice. Anything in here? No. I guess this is for like, um, I guess if you wanted to keep your Bible in here, maybe. All right, we're almost done with these bags here, guys. Dang it, another brand new bag. Betsy Johnson. Got this cute little, like a French dog. What are they called? Like a Frenchies? Is that what they call them? Like a French bulldog? Is it brand new? Yeah, it's brand new. It's still got all the paper in here. Man, the plastic sucker's never been used. Look at that. Another nice little bag there. Wow. Um, another Betsy Johnson bag. This one is used. Nothing in there, but again, a cute little bag. You got some some straps of some sort, some belts made in Mexico. Oh, there's one more bag in here. What is this? Oh wow, this one's a coach, guys. Look at that bag. That's a nice little bag. What do y'all think about that one? Let me turn on the light. It's kind of dark in here. So here is the coach bag. Here's the other ones. Y'all y'all be able to see it, right? Wow. Well, we're going to do a giveaway for this coach bag. I know a lot of people love the coach bags. And I get comments all the time. You know, people saying, oh, I could never afford a real bag, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, well, you know what? Let me hook y'all up. So, we're going to do a giveaway for this hot pink coach bag. It's a little dusty, but, you know, I'll get some soapy water and clean it up and make it look really nice. Hot pink bag. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you all a choice between, because this is like a little kid's one, between this Kate Spade, glittery, real pretty, purse, brand new, or the semi-new coach bag. One of the two, I'll let the winner choose. And the, the word, the key word for you guys to type in is going to be bag. Just type in the word bag, B-A-G, simple as that. As you guys know, you could type in the word in a sentence or just type in the word bag. Y'all can type it a hundred times in separate comments and it counts as a hundred different chances to win. Don't type it in one comment, guys. If you type in the word bag a hundred times in one comment, that's going to be one chance. Okay, that's just the way that the, that the, uh, that system works. It only counts it as one entry. So if you want multiple entries, type in the word bag bag multiple times also guys make sure you're subscribed you got to be subscribed to win and you're gonna have to make sure that you like the video um, i do check all that stuff out so make sure you like the video that you are subscribed and leave the word bag leave the word bag and you're gonna get a chance to win either the coach or the kate spade which is brand new i'll let you pick uh, either one of them okay moving on moving on uh this is another decent bag and I know you guys like the shoes. And uh, a pair of Steve Madden 
pink sneakers. Then you got the gold ones. Rhinestone Steve Madden's. They're not cheap, guys, these shoes. These shoes are not cheap. Now, used, they're probably like maybe 20, 30 bucks, maybe. But, I mean, that's a nice pair of sneakers right there, guys. All bedazzled out, jeweled out. You'll be looking sharp wearing these. Let's see, you got some Converse shoes. You have some Skechers. I'm about to let Iris look through these because I think these are her size. Are these Crocs? These are fake Crocs. So these are cool because they've got these little, uh, the little pins. Time and True. So you got Freddy Krueger, you got Jigsaw. Uh, I think that's from Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know what that is. You'll float two from it. And you got Chucky, Jack o' Lantern. Looks like that is. I don't know. I don't know. And there's Pennywise a clown. So these are kind of cool. You got these shoes here. It says Me Too. They look like ballet shoes. Or maybe they're just, you know. Look, another bag. My goodness. Uh, Nothing in here, just some feminine products. And uh, what kind of bag is this anyways? I don't even know. What it says right here? Uh, I can't make it out. But I will keep that. And this, if these, if they were new, you know, I would, I would donate these, but I don't want to donate just loose, um, tampons or whatever uh, i don't i don't think the places take them they usually want them you know sealed uh shoes more converse more sketchers here's the other one that goes to that what else is in here There's just a bunch of shoes in here guys and converse man they sell pretty good i mean i'm not gonna make a killing on them But, you know, if I get five bucks a pair, I mean, there's about, there's about uh, six pair in there. And then if I get $10 for these uh, Steve Maddens, I mean, I'll be doing pretty good. Well, there goes that purse. Let's see. I'm going to put this over here for now and kind of get it out the way. It's like once you get everything situated it's hard to get it back in there the way you got it. oh no 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 no! don't rip on me ah, it's too late though right doggone it oh well let me see what i oh my gosh this bag is just ripping on me so you got these boots um don't know the brand let's see if i can well this one's already open well no this is these are arizona these are probably going to be similar. If I get the zipper to come down. Okay, it's been a while. Destiny, whatever brand that is. Oh my goodness. Got some low, low cut boots. Cocon, coconuts. Well, as y'all can see, guys. That's what's in here. Look at these. These are nice too. What brand are these? All made materials in China. I can't see a a brand on these. Oh, here we go. Massimo. That's what it is. Massimo. Can y'all see down there? Oh, there's more boots. More boots. These are all boots down here and they're all falling apart so i'm just gonna leave those down there guys i'm not gonna go and struggle with that right now it's a bit much and um okay so let's get situated here this is going home with me i can leave these little napkins and leave this hand sanitizer here this is trash this is trash i want to say that's actually a debit card so we're gonna have to add these coins to the coin jar and we might be there we might be there this time guys let's let's go check it out let me get situated here and then i'll uh get back with you with the video all right here's a coin jar 
We're gonna open it up. Add the coins. Yeah. I think it's time for a giveaway, guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna do it in this video because I'm doing the purse video, or the, pur the purse giveaway. But y'all stay tuned because next video we're gonna announce the giveaway for a chance for you to win however much money is in here. Next video, get ready. It could be 50 bucks, it could be 20 bucks. I have no idea. I've never taken coins to a machine like this before. And uh, I have no idea how much it's gonna be. So whoever's ready, next video, you'll get a chance to win this. I'm gonna set it right here. And next time I get a chance to go, we're taking that in. So now guys, I'm gonna do a real quick glance through on here. It looks like it's mostly Power Ranger stuff, but uh, this is just for my personal, uh, my personal uh, <laughs> enjoyment. Because I, I I love these old toys, I love these old toys, and uh, and I'm excited to go through all this. I think that that's probably Power Rangers too. This is those crash dummies. That, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Like, see this one here. Is this GoBots? Bandai. I don't know what that is. It might be Power Rangers. But whoever had these, man. I mean. Oof, there's 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 some dust in there. Whatever this is, this is one of the one of the what's it called? Is that Power Rangers? I think that's Power Rangers. All right, so I'm gonna go through this guys on my own. I'm not gonna bore y'all with these things. Are these Power Rangers? I want to look closely into these. They might be something else. All right, I'm gonna go through these on my own, guys, and um, that should be wrapping it up here with this video pretty soon. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to pause right here, guys, because this this toy haul is just so very massive. I mean, I have all this stuff out here, as you can see, is just a lot, and I, I mean, I've barely made a dent in this pile and there's so much more to go through i mean there's just so much in here guys it's crazy look at that so what i do know for sure is that we do have power ranger stuff i want to say these are vr troopers if i'm not mistaken i haven't looked them up but uh it's a show that kind of came in the same time that the power rangers did and it, it was it's kind of like the competition of the Power Rangers. They came in right afterwards. And uh, it was a show called VR Troopers. And I think that's what these are. Some of them I don't know what they are. I don't know what this is. I mean, he punches. And I don't know if these are GoBots. I don't know if this is those... Uh... Oh my gosh, I'll have, to, I'll, I'll have to look these up. But you definitely have the different Zords... I don't know what this is. This doesn't look like it's Power Rangers to me. But it does say Bandai. So it could be. It's just they made so many different generations of the Power Rangers. After, you know, I watched when I was a kid for like the first generation. After that, um, I grew out of it. Now, one thing that I did see, which is I'm excited for, is this uh, Voltron. So it's half the Voltron. And I really hope that the other half is in there. Because that would be just super, super cool. And um, I would I would definitely keep the Voltron. That's really, really neat. That was definitely from my era, from the 80s. Another one that I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's that Gundam. That's what I'm thinking about, Gundam. But you have all the different Power Rangers. I think these are legit Power Rangers. Bandai, yeah. Different generations of different Power Rangers. Ninja Zords, you got... I don't know. There was there did different animals. You have the different motorcycles. You've got this guy who I don't know who he is. So uh, this is a, a seemingly a bad guy. Looks like. Oh look, his mouth opens and closes. Oh there we go. You, that's neat. And then all the motorcycles, like I said. But guys, we barely made a dent, and uh, I really don't have 
too much time to go through all this but you guys get a really good sample size of what i'm working with here because this is one of the greatest toy scores that i've ever found in the trash all right so after many hours of going through all this stuff and trying to piece things together as best i could we finally came up with a lot of good stuff that man this is probably one of the best finds as far as toys are concerned that i've ever found in the trash so we're going to start with the little minifigures out here and uh, i sorted them out as best i could so you got all these these are like the original power rangers they're, they're not the full-size ones but these are the little little plastic ones right here some of these are originals too but these are different ones that i don't know i don't know the the brand or uh which series they belong to but it's a bunch here and you got this table full of course these are all original rangers right here this guy here by itself that's the white ranger with the sword both back plate and chest plate and the gun this guy here is probably about a 30 to 40 dollar figure all day long you got this guy here who has the front plate and chest plate um i'm sure the gun's going to be over there somewhere i just didn't pick it out yet guys this is a crazy crazy find a bunch of bunch of figures i figure in figures alone i probably have about 400 dollars worth I'm thinking if I did $5 each for the small ones and $10 for the big ones and then the little baby baby ones group them up then you got a bunch of weapons these weapons can go for a dollar two dollars three dollars each depending on the weapon itself as a bunch of y'all know who are collectors uh, these these things like this this is where people start to you know break sets apart and make more money whenever they sell it like this and then here's the back section guys this is where like some of the some of these uh zords what they call them are missing some pieces but even as is should do well then you got all these up here i'll turn on the light see if it'll help out some nope all right so you got this top row. I think that's one of the bad guys. This is from probably one of the series that I haven't watched. But look at all these guys. Every single one of these guys was in the trash. Even that's a Power Ranger figure. I don't know who he's, what his name is, but I think he's about a $10 to $15 figure. All these back here. Then you got a bunch of the cycles. And I'm and I'm more than sure that a lot of the you know some pieces like the missiles and stuff like that are going to be over there. I just I've taken a lot of time to get all these put together. I, I really didn't go look for the missiles for all that stuff yet. And then some of the loose figures here. I think these are like some of the bad guys. They got this section down here. These are kind of cool. Got the little tiny teeny rangers it's funny when i looked this guy up the sword that was uh in the picture for sale was bent like this too i thought it was funny and you got this guy with his little baby brother and then uh, i think all these kind of make a zord by themselves they all go together these guys right here one two three four and five then I found a bunch of pieces that go to that guy. That's complete. That vehicle right there. I think he's about 40, 50 bucks with the all the pieces that go to it and the Power Ranger in there. That one, I'm sure the Ranger's over there somewhere. I just didn't look for it yet. Same thing with this one. And these are McDonald's Happy Meal toys. And these are Beetleborgs. Those right there. And then the last thing was a couple of little, little cheap little uh, transformer toys. Whew, man, guys, that was exhausting. I couldn't believe that all this was in the trash. I mean, I'm gonna go by today and uh, go to the house and see if uh, if uh, I could talk to the people who are the homeowners, see if they have any more stuff that they want to get rid of. 
and uh and over here is a bunch of like a little random stuff that i really didn't get a chance to 100 percent go through but like this fist goes to one of the t-rex i think it's called the tyrannosaurus borg or something like that and i mean they go for okay money it's just i don't have the whole piece um, that might be a shoe that goes with it so I, I i just got burnt out and to search every single one of these uh, last little pieces i really didn't feel like going through it got those right there too a bunch of little small stuff see here the arms are that t-rex borg and uh man i think i think you get 20 bucks for just the arms on those guys little chest plates head pieces it's a lot of stuff guys all right guys well that's gonna do it for me um man what a crazy find this is probably one of the like i said one of the best finds i've had in the trash and uh some people won't believe me i already know some people won't believe me when they see this video they're gonna say oh it's staged but guys there's no way i would <laughs> go through the trouble of getting all these toys inside that bin setting it out only to take them out and spend the hours that i spent trying to get all these put together so if you're new to my channel, I understand it seems unbelievable, but if you keep on watching some of my videos and go back to watch some of the old videos, you'll see that, guys, this is the stuff that I find all the time. Not in this magnitude, um, but I have found, like, you know, other Power Rangers, He-Man, uh, Thundercats, G.I. Joes, Transformers, I mean, all those vintage shows, even Ninja Turtles in the trash. People just get tired of it, and they don't want, they want it gone, and they'll throw it away. And um, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm not pretty sure, but I hope that if I go back to the house, when I go back to the house, that they have more stuff because they had a second bin out there that had uh, VHS tapes that were like um, uh, Power Rangers and uh, Pokemon. So, man, if they have some Pokemon that they want to get rid of, man, this is going to be another big score. So, you know, hope hope that they have more stuff. All right. What an awesome night, guys. We found so much stuff. It's incredible. It was one of the better nights I've had in a while. Uh, from new purses, from a lot of really good stuff to use, all these toys easy for me to say that the favorite find was obviously the toys i'm that's me i'm that guy i'm the toy guy i love collecting toys i like finding them and researching them and selling them so that's right up my alley you let me know in the comments what your favorite find of the night was i'm pretty sure some of y'all will agree with me with the toys some of y'all like the shoes some of y'all like the purses and don't forget to type in the word bag use it in a sentence however you want to do it and the winner gets to choose between that brand new betsy johnson no, it's it, no, it's the Ann Klein, the brand new Ann Klein, or you can get the semi new Coach Purse, uh, whichever one you want. It's up to y'all. Um, doesn't make a difference to me, and uh, the winner will be announced next week. And remember, the coins, guys, the jar's full, so the following week you're gonna be able to get a chance to win that one. Uh, just pay attention and and uh, when the video drops, so you can get in it. Um, it's gonna be whoever guesses the amount closest to it. But uh, I need to do a video of me going to the change machine and cashing it in so we can uh, make sure that, you know, everything's legit and everything's done fairly. So, that being said, guys, hit like, hit subscribe, do all that amazing stuff that we ask you to do on YouTube. It really shows, uh, if you really love the channel, if you really love the Texan Picker and you're able to, please hit like. It does help me out. It helps YouTube know that we're doing a good job and it shares the video to other people who might enjoy this type of video so do me that favor please and do all that good stuff all right we'll, we'll close it out here father I just want to thank you lord just for the amazing blessings thank you father so much for putting people in my life to be able to bless me for being able to, for letting me be able to bless other people uh through this channel through the stuff that i find and just any way possible father that that you're able to just let me be uh, a positive input on people's lives father Lord, just ask that you continue just to bless us, bless our families, bless my viewers, Father, that whatever they're going through, whatever illness, whatever mental issues, whatever, just anything that's, that's ailing them, Father, you know, from being, you know, depressed, having anxiety, I just, I just claim restoration, Father, over these people's bodies, over the people's minds, and that they put you first in their lives, Lord, and that, that, that they know that. A relationship with you, Father, is, is the answer. It's it's the hole in the heart that needs to be filled, and only you can fill it, Father. And I ask you, Father, that you would just move in their lives and that uh, you would just, just continue to bless them, Lord. Father, that you can continue to bless us with the good health. Continue to bless our marriages, Father, and continue to bless us in every way that you see fit for us and our families, Lord. 
And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys. That does it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did. This is one of the funner finds that I've had. I didn't get a chance to go through all of that with y'all live, but I did have a good time going through all that stuff. I did have a good time going through all the other things with you guys here. Uh, we're going to have a garage sale in a couple weeks. For those of you who are in my area, if you look me up on Instagram, look me up on Facebook, I'll give you uh, my address. And if you guys want to come check me out and check out the stuff that I have for sale, it's going to be March 7th, 8th, and 9th that weekend. Saturday, that Saturday, everything's going to be free. Whatever's left up is free. So if you want to get in on that, y'all send me a message and I'll give you all the details. Otherwise, hope you guys see you next time. Peace. Love you. God bless. See ya.